All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've been waiting since five o'clock to make this video. EA was so slow today. Nonetheless, guys, comment day coming in from Troy2K says, You're a great man. By the way, us fans appreciate the love at the beginning of all your videos. Keep it up. I appreciate you, my man. I appreciate every single one of you that comments. Just beautiful and loving stuff. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me to see comments like that. I try my best to go ahead and like and favor every single one of you guys that do take the time to comment. And I try to respond to any questions you do have. Nonetheless, like all for this video. Can we smash 100 likes? And question of the day is going to be, which of these three legends are you most excited about? So I got to say, the legends came out at 5 o'clock. That's when they will release the actual pictures and reveal of the legends for tomorrow. The limited time card was not announced until 7 o'clock an hour ago. It got like, I think it got like, um... I got a thousand retweets right away, but EA took an hour to go ahead and release it. So, we have our first legend for tomorrow, Williams. I don't know how to say his first name, but Williams. 87 speed, 88 acceleration, 88 agility, 88 jumping, 90 play rec, 89 man, 89 zone, and 87 press. This is our first legend, our defensive legend for tomorrow. Now, going right into our offensive legend, that's going to be none other than then Tony G. Tony G coming in with 80 speed, 76 strength, 92 catching, 90 catching traffic, 90 spec catch, 91 short route one, 87 medium route one, and 75 run blocking. Very, very nice card. Definitely a guy I want to get my team right away. This card, every single year, no matter what Tony G it is, I always love having him in my squad because he is a monster. A limited time card for today, or sorry, for tomorrow, not today, for tomorrow, is going to be Howie Long. He is a right end, which thank the thank God, because last year he was left end. I believe the year before that also he was a left end. And I got to say, if this card was the left end, this would be so stupid. Because right end, the best card we have is Bruce Smith, a 90 overall. Outside of that, obviously, this card's a 92, so it makes sense. If he was a left end again for the third straight year... We would have just gotten J.J. Watt, 92 of all left end. We already had, uh, what's his name, Reggie White at left end at 91 overall. It would have been kind of stupid. Nonetheless, though, he is a right end coming in with 78 speed. He does have 90 tackles, so he can get secure, uh, t uh, what's it called, secure tackler, which is very, very nice. So again, uh, if you guys are new, you did not watch my video on exactly what thresholds you have to hit to hit certain abilities 90 is the threshold for secure tackler so for example this how long can have secure tackler he can have added to him 90 play rack 92 block shed 92 power move 85 finesse move and of course 89 strength this card honestly looks like a monster i can't wait uh i'm gonna pull for him tomorrow try to pull some packs see if i can pull him but this card honestly does look very very good um, I do believe though he'll probably be 500, 600,000 coins. Nothing too crazy. Just the same amount that, you know, his quick sell pretty much goes for. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.